What's up guys? Donnie here. Welcome back to yet another video. Sorry for not uploading for two weeks. Last week I was really sick, man. I, on my days off, I literally spent time in bed. I couldn't get up. I was so, like, I was so achy. I think I had the flu. I don't know. But I'm feeling a lot better now. And we're out here. We're going to be looking for mangrove crabs. We're going to load up. Probably get a couple dozen. And then we're going to start fishing for sheep's head. We're going to be doing a catch and cook on sheep's head today. And um, a little whiting I caught yesterday in Bradenton. We're going to cook that up as well. We're going to make some fish tacos. So I'm amped. Let's get to it. It's a little overcast today. It's, uh, it's quite foggy out. It's like 50, 60 degrees. So these crabs are probably freezing right now. And they can barely move. If I can find one, let's see if I can find one. Look, there's a crab right here. Oh, he's he's pretty fast today. Oh no, he jumped. Look at that, guys. You guys probably can't see him, but. Got him. There's one. Let's throw him in the bucket. All right, we need to get like, couple dozen more. <laughs> Got him. It's a good bait right there, man. He'll work. I got him. I just randomly just wrapped my my hand around that branch, but we got him though. That man, there's a big one right here. I'm gonna get him for sure. Yes, sheep's head candy. Look how big that one is. He's not that big, he's decent. They get bigger than that. Got him, little guy. No, he fell. Oh, he's right here. He's right here. Oh, he jumped all the way down. <laughs> you win some, you lose some. Oh, look at that. Look at that one right here. That's a fatty. Oh, he barely moved. Look at him, man. That's a big one there. That's a big one right there. Oh, he's big. He's a big fella. It's good bait size there, man. Sheep's head candy. And it's free. He's huge. He's huge. I got him. You guys won't believe how big this one is. Ooh, he's got... Uh. <laughs> Let go, dude. Ah, oh, man, look at that. Oh my gosh, that hurt. <laughs> Just a little bit. All right, before we head out, I want to get up on top of that tower. Let's go. Here we go, morning jog. I think we got like a couple dozen. A couple dozen of crabs now, but before we head out of here to go to our first fishing spot, I want to get up here and show you guys the view. Oh yeah, let's go to the very top. Look at this man. Dope view. Look at that. That's the pier we're going to be fishing. Right over there. Hopefully we get onto some sheep's head. It's a little windy up here though. And foggy as you guys can see. Alright guys, we got... We got more than a couple dozen. We got a lot. Check that out. 
Look at that, man. Sheep's head bait right there. We're retiring if we can't catch any sheep's head with those crabs. We just got to the spot. I just want to show you guys the shrimp from yesterday. I got three dozen shrimp and hopefully they're still alive. Oh, they are. Look at that, man. Still kicking. So, so we got shrimp and crab. Look at that. Some nice size shrimp too, man. So we'll use that up today. There's no reason why we can't catch any sheep's head or anything really. Should be good today. We just got to the pier and I'm seeing a couple of snook down there. They're not too big. They're like probably in the, in the 20 inch range. We're gonna throw this shrimp down there and see if, we, see if they'll take it. We didn't get a single bite here at the pier. I saw a couple of snook um, pitch them the shrimp. Didn't want to do anything with the shrimp. Uh, I didn't even try the, the, the crab because I didn't see any sheep's head over here. So we're gonna head on to the next spot and see if we can't get on some fish then. I just had a bite guys, first cast. He took it, he took it. We're gonna throw on another crab and see if we can't get him. Must have been a big sheep's head. All right, let's try this again. Right there at that spot. I didn't think any of it. I just, I didn't think there'd be sheep's head there or a fish there, but I was just reeling it in and I felt the weight and he was on it, but he wasn't hooked. What is that? Oh, a trout. Oh my goodness. Look at the size of that trout, guys. On the shrimp. I caught the shrimp down there. Oh yeah. So it was a trout all along. Nice one too, man. All right. He's not in season. Otherwise, we would keep him. We're gonna let him go. On the shrimp. I bet you there's more. I bet you they're schooled up down there. We're gonna throw another shrimp on. Let this guy go first though. All right, got, got a crab down there. Hopefully a whack one right here. We got one earlier, but we need to get a few more for the catch and cook. There's another one. They're not too big. They're like the same size as the other ones. They are chewing right now, man. Look at that. Good size, sheep said. Good one right there, man. Finally, about time. Look at that. Right on the corner of the mouth. It's probably 13, 14 inches. It's good size. Let's try to get a few more. They're right underneath this dock here. Here it is, here it is, here it is. Oh, dude, that's a good one. Oh my God, came off. Here it is, here it is. Oh man, he's little. This guy's small, we're gonna have to let him go. Tiny little guy. All right, we're gonna release it. See you, bud. Chewing right now. Oh, I'm on it. No way. Little guy. It's 
sky is small, I'm gonna have to release it. All right. See you, bud. Uh, just using a size one Mustad live bait hook, 25 pound liter, arm's length of 25 pound Uzuri fluorocarbon liter, and like 10 pound braid. No weights, just straight freelining, guys. All right, we're gonna throw another crab down there. We got three sheep set so far, I think. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, that's a good one. He's a decent, he's a keeper. Still got my crab. Right on the corner of the mouth, man, right there. Oh, he's got a scar, I think. Oh, here it is. Oh yeah. It's a fatty. This one's a fatty, guys. Right. <laughs> but we're about to limit out. Oh yeah. It's a good one right there, man. That's a good one. Oh. <laughs> you win some, you lose some. Oh, that's a good one. No, he got me wrapped. He came out. He came out. <laughs> Let's not lose this one here. Another nice one right here, man. Man, I love catching these guys. Literally, they're like right here, guys. Let's see if you'll take it right here. <laughs> he might be small, though. Let's measure him. I bet you, I bet you he's 12. Look at that. He might be right on 12. Let's measure it. Let's bring it over here. All right, let's measure it real quick before we throw him back. He's 13. Let's keep him. Decent man. He's a keeper at least. Good eating size. No way, he's going for it. He's going after it. I think he took it. He took it. He took it. No way, he took it, guys. He took it. There it is. Oh, <laughs> came off. <laughs> All right, last crab. Look how big that one is, though. We gotta make this count. There it is. There it is. Oh. It. Wasn't hooked. That's it, guys. That is it. We're gonna go clean up those fish and um, cook them up for you guys. guys one of the last sheep's head this one here's the last one once we get the uh, the fillets we'll um we'll start getting the skin off so it'll be skinless fillet and get we'll get the bone 
get the bones off them too. All right, this is the easy part right here. Just start um, cutting them like that. Hold on to the skin. Just work that knife back and forth. You can pull on the skin if you want to, like so. That's it. Skinless fillet. And we'll get the bones off them too. Like so. I'm just gonna go ahead and just cut the bloodline off like that. That's good for me right there. We'll leave them there. Same thing with this one. Make the initial cut. Hold on to the, the skin. Like that. And just work that knife back and forth. Angle it like that. Make sure it's in a, on, a, on an angle like that. You don't want it flat. That's good. All right, we just got done cleaning up the sheep's head. We got a lot of filet out of those four or five sheep's head we caught, man. Plenty to feed a couple, a few people, really. Um, we're gonna go find a spot and we're gonna cook them up. All right, guys, I am amped right now. We just got to the spot. We're just getting everything set up right now. Um, cutting up vegetables, cilantro, lime, getting the eggs ready, the flour right there, the propane. We'll give it like a minute. Wait for it to, uh, to heat up. gonna be good man I am amped I'm so amped guess we can test it oh yeah should be good right about there we'll lower the heat once the uh, once the oil is hot enough Check out the fillets though, man. That's like, that's half of the fillet. I still have a whole bag, I mean a half a bag of the fillets left in the cooler. Look at that. Sheep's at fillet, man. That's, that's some beautiful fillets right there. Mmm. Cannot wait, guys. It's getting hot. All right, so we got a problem. This thing here, this cast iron here, is uh, is leaking somewhere right around there. So we just grab like a little pieces of rocks and just slap them underneath the skillet. Anyway, back to business. All right, there it is. We'll make it work, guys. It's looking good already. Oh yeah, look at that, it's dripping. See that? See that? <laughs> it's a defective cast iron. So the whole rocks underneath the uh, the skillet did not work. So I'm just gonna have to hold it. And of course, I don't have the spatula or anything to flip these uh, these fillets, these these uh, fish fry with. So we're just gonna use this knife here. That's all we got. We're gonna make it work though. It's gonna be good, guys. Just wait. You just wait, man. It's gonna be good. It's looking good already. Flip it. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Oh yeah. Alright, I think these pieces are ready. Oh yeah, look at that man.
Telling you guys, man, I'm gonna make it work, and it's gonna be good. Look at that. <laughs> Look at the oil. Oil is dripping all over. It's all good, though, man. It's all good. It's all good in the hood. It's gonna be good. <laughs> I'm amped, man. Cannot wait to devour these. Sheep's at tacos. What do you guys think? Does that look good or what? I'm telling you, man, you guys are missing out. You guys have not tried Sheep's at tacos. I'm amped. Let's try this now. All right, man. Let's do this. Here we go. A couple pieces. And lettuce. A little bit of uh, cilantro, some lime. Oh yeah. Some cheese. A little bit of cheese. And the hot sauce. Oh no, crystal hot sauce, here we go. Sheep's head tacos, baby, let's go. Here we go, first bite. Sorry guys, had to do it to him. Mmm. <laughs> wow. Man, that is so good. I'm gonna finish up eating here. I'm getting really hungry right now. <laughs> My battery is about to, well not my battery, my memory card is getting full so I gotta close this up. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please hit that like button. If you aren't already, smash that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.